Hi, I just made 2.6 billion ringgit and I want to show you how you can do it too. All you got to do is click on that button down there to get started. And that is something you should never do. On the 12th of May 2017, a computer virus called WannaCrypt, also known more popularly as WannaCry, began its malicious adventure into cyberspace, targeting computers running Microsoft Windows. Now, unlike other computer viruses that plug your computer full of ads or spoil your computer, WannaCry wants money. WannaCry is a computer virus known as ransomware. It locks up the files on your devices to the point that you can no longer open them. In particular, it targets files that it believes are your work stuff. So it seeks out documents such as photographs, Microsoft Word documents, Photoshop files and your music collection. And it's not limited to just that. If you ever want to see these files again, you're going to have to pay a ransom. Which according to reports, amounts from 300 to 600 US dollars. Ransomware has been around for decades. Some versions annoy you until you pay, while some delete the files until you do. Modern ransomware like WannaCry actually does something much more terrifying. It locks up your personal data on your device and will only unlock it if you pay. WannaCry is a specific type of ransomware known as cryptographic ransomware. It involves a technology called asymmetric encryption, which actually was originally developed to protect your files from prying eyes. It works by creating two keys, one for locking and one for unlocking. And these keys are different. It means the one that was used to lock something cannot be used to unlock it. You're going to need the other one. WannaCry uses this technology. It creates a pair of keys, then it uses the locking key to garble your personal files, and deleting the virus will solve nothing because everything's still garbled. Worse still, the bad guys will jack up the ransom every few hours, forcing victims to pay up. And eventually, if you don't pay, they destroy the other key. And that's it. Bye-bye. Not that simple, Sherlock Holmes, because the bad guys demand the ransom in the form of Bitcoin, a digital currency that works in a similar way to asymmetric encryption. Because the only thing needed to send money is a locking key, no one will know who received it or who holds the unlocking key. The bad guys aren't going to ask you to send the money through Maybank to you. Bitcoin is decentralized and only the locking keys and amounts transferred are public, nothing else. So once you send money to a payee's wallet, you are never going to see it again. The latest report shows that WannaCry has already affected Malaysian computers, so think twice before clicking on something suspicious or installing something that you're not sure about. If you are using Windows, update it immediately as Microsoft has issued an update to plug the hole in March. A reputable antivirus software that is updated consistently also will help in keeping you safe. Keep a backup of your most important files on a USB drive or a CD and remember to unplug it because if WannaCry strikes when that drive is plugged in, it's gonna get infected. In the unfortunate event that your computer is infected, the best you can do is disconnect from any Wi-Fi or LAN network to immediately stunt the spread of the virus. Reports at the time of recording reveal that potentially over 60,000 US dollars worth of Bitcoin has been paid up as ransom, and that number continues to increase as WannaCry weaves its way into the computers of the less tech-savvy people. Therefore, please share this video with your friends and family and help keep everyone safe. Want to add to the conversation or have you figured out a way to outsmart this abomination? Tell us in the comments and leave a like as well. I'm Daniel Anthony, stay safe Malaysia.